Welcome back to the channel of the Windsurf Coach. It's great to have you back on the channel. Today I'm gonna do a wing review. The review will be on the Ozone Flux 5.6. As the 5.6 is a light wind wing, I will test it in light wind conditions. The location will be Marina Harbor, Almere, next to Vandenberg Surf. And Olivier will bring the wing. We have the, the flux which has been out for a couple of uh, months already. I've tested it already uh, about a half a year ago, but not really in light condition. So today should be perfect. We are as a shop actually uh, checking out if ozone is an addition to the, to the range. Well, that sounds great. Maybe a new brand for the store. Of course we can talk for hours, but let's hit the water and let's find out what the flux is all about. I get to try first, later we'll switch. The way the flux is made looks beautifully and here you can see how they used quite a lot of panels to get the optimum profile. The bigger sizes like this 5.6 are made to give you the maximum performance in light wind. Even in those light wind conditions the flux gets you onto the foil in no time as it produces loads of low end grunt. As you can see it's pretty easy to handle those tip strikes with this flux and I really like that. The wing is absolutely very stable and that is convenient but it also has a downside. Tagging requires positive steering input but on the other hand jibing feels easy. After a few minutes I start to appreciate the power and the stability of the flux. It's a very easy but pleasant wing. The hard handles are placed exactly in the right position and allow you to steer the wing in the right direction. When going for a speed run you can feel the immediate sensation of the acceleration but at the end the top speed lags a bit. It could very well be that this is the trade-off they've made to give this wing the 5.6 the early liftoff and the power at low speeds. When pumping the wing you can hear the hard handles move around in their attachment points. I hope this will not result in early wear. It's great to have that massive amount of low end power as it keeps you flying through the lulls and you can take on a really passive stance. You can just relax, enjoy the winging and have some fun. For a wing with this much low end power it also allows you to track upwind fairly well. I love the feel of those hard handles. It gives you such a direct feeling with the wing and the wing is so easy, it just seems to make everything a bit more easy. When flagging the wing, the wing stays nice and neutral, which will be a great asset in the waves. Another attempt at some speed results in approximately the same feeling. It accelerates really well but then there is a kind of limit. It feels like all the pull you get at the low end will reduce the top end speed. In this light wind test I have seen no sign of flutter whatsoever on the trailing edge. If you're looking for a neutral and stable wing that provides lots and lots of low end power, this is a really nice wing for you. It makes everything easy. I do understand that the bigger sizes are more low power oriented and the smaller sizes are more speed oriented. So make sure you get to try it before you buy it at your local surf shop.
By now I have a pretty good idea what the Flux 5.6 is all about and it's time to hand over the wing to Olivier. As Olivier is packing quite a few kilograms more than I am, I think he will appreciate the bigger Flux with the low end grunt. After playing around with the flux for a few hours, it's time to reach a conclusion. So let's head back to the beach. Good test conditions because it was fairly light. I think we had between 6 to 12 knots, sometimes up to 15, but that's about it. Um, well, for me as a heavier rider, uh, I really like the low end pull. Uh, it just drags you out of the water. It has a shit ton of uh, power. Uh, it's not so much pulling all on, on your backhand, it's really from two hands it pulls you out. Also noticeable that it pulls you forward. Um, it's just a solid wing in your hand. I think it's I think they did it quite good and made it quite all round. The 5.7 is a, is a dedicated lower uh, wind range wing. Yep. Um, because once you get out of the water and you want to yeah, ram it down and start planing fast it doesn't really do that but it's it's just a really nice wing to yeah. to surf uh, it flags out pretty well um, yep it's not as free as a strike and nope. it does as free in the handle but it's just really comfortable and it's really balanced uh, I think uh, riders who really want to uh, progress their transitioning or are still focusing on the foil quite a lot uh, who tend to have a little bit of more stability out of their wing. It's a perfect wing for you. So, so beginner and intermediate you would say? Yeah definitely but also if you like a little bit more of an old, elder rider and you just want to cruise around and be stable yeah. I think this is a perfect wing. Um, I really like the detail in finishing of the product. You can really see that it's an ozone product. Ozone really likes to overdo it almost on, on the finishing. Yeah, a lot of attention um, is spent paid. Really, really uh, a lot of details and high quality materials. For me, the ozone, uh, what I immediately noticed was the tons and tons of pull that it gave when I just got the wing powered up. Amazing, I almost thought I want to go back to get my harness, but uh, there was no need for that. Once used to it, it's a really nice wing. Uh, it's not that playful, it's not that fast, but it gets you up and going in the lightest breezes. It feels a bit more heavy as it pulls more. If you just want to cruise around and have some fun, I think yeah. it will be a perfect wing. That says a lot about a good wing, because yeah. um, it's pretty hard to get an all-round wing that well. The conditions today were just perfect for a light wind test of the Ozone Flux 5.6 and both Olivier and I agreed that this is a great all-round wing with lots of low end power. I do hope you liked the video. If you did, of course, please leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel of the Windsurf Coach. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. I will see you on the water.